when we started the band, we could have never imagined you know, being on TV right now talking about it. We could have never imagined being able to hold an album in our hands or watch a video or tour with bands that we really admire. We can't really predict the future or what's going to happen, but we enjoy the ride while we're here. There was a while where we received some commercial success, and I think that when some of that commercial success started to slip away from us, we were just kind of wondering if anybody was listening anymore, or if anybody cared anymore. Financially, we're in a terrible position, and we had that dreary cloud over our heads just being like, what the fuck are we doing? Is it even worth it anymore? Being in a band isn't for everyone. It's hard to make a living. So it's, it's totally understandable that people might want something a little more structured. The music industry was changing. We were changing as people, and eventually something has got to give. Trying this new thing, this crowdfunding thing, really was, I want to say a last resort, but I think if it really didn't go well, it probably would have sent a pretty strong message to us that maybe our time has come and gone and it's probably time to move on. Band sucks, don't care. Anyone who donates likes shitty music, fuck you. Press the launch. We all did a shot over text message. There's 700 bucks here. This is amazing. Refreshed again, it was 25. Refreshed again, and we're getting close to 30. We're like, as soon as the protest campaign went up, there were thousands of people that clicked onto it. People are still interested, and in, let's give us another shot, at least for the album. Something comes around to even that out. First thing is we have to replace a band member for the album. I'm kind of being asked to build the foundation of a blueprint that I don't really understand. Moe's a punk rock guy, Chris is a metal guy. I don't really know what's going on. Ah, neat. Frustrations abound. All the jazz greats are looking down, frowning down upon me. Watching something come together so slow and painfully. This, ah, it's a glancing blow. I realize when I get in the studio, I'm like, fuck, I can't actually play this. <laughs> It's art. It's objective. <laughs> oh, barefoot little half man, you've got a journey before you. Journey before you. What rhymes with you? Cthulhu. How do you pronounce that?